you're affected by those storms, just stay home. Yeah. Stay here in San Diego. A lot of people Don't are in leave. the Northeast. Yeah, complete opposites. They're going to be 15 to 30 degrees below normal. Oh well, we're going to be looking at record heat here in San Diego. I just posted that. Yes, that's typically how it works. One side of the nation is cold. The other one is warm. We just happen to be on the warm side this time around. And as we take a live look right now at our sky cam in Coronado, a beautiful sunset, a few clouds out there. The marine layer doesn't seem to be too problematic yet, but we do have a dance fog advisory in effect until tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Temperatures holding steady 67 degrees, pretty mild at the moment. Today's records uh, Alpine went up to 86 degrees. The previous record was 82 set in 2015 in Campo. Also bypassing that record by a degree. Escondido, we tied the record of 89 set in 2015. And once again, tomorrow there could be additional records. The areas most likely to beat those records, Chula Vista and also in Ramona. The temperature comparison for tomorrow as the clouds continue streaming along the coast. We're going to keep the numbers in the low 70s at night pretty mild and then inland areas are going to be hot tomorrow. It's going to feel like summer with temperatures approaching 90 degrees in some spots and then by nighttime falling to about 53 degrees. So even at night is still going to be quite comfortable. Overnight tonight, 46 in Ramona, 55 in Escondido, mid 50s also in Poway, El Cajon. Down in San Diego, we'll keep it around 50 degrees, 53 in Chula Vista. Coastal areas will stay mild tonight, but it's also going to be quite foggy with fog heading into tomorrow morning. Temperatures possibly approaching 90 Escondido in Poway, 88 degrees, 89 El Cajon, and around 84 degrees in Corona Mesa. But look at the difference. You make your way towards La Jolla, and it's going to be right around 69 degrees tomorrow Chula Vista low 80s. Meanwhile, San Diego will stay in the low 70s. So the difference is being created by the amount of cloud coverage blocking the sun from heating the surface as much as we'll see in our inland valleys and even in our valleys we will see a touch of fog, but certainly it's not going to be as thick. In our 10 News Pinpoint 7 day forecast, 71 of the coast tomorrow, down to the 60s on Wednesday, slightly cooler, still nice though. Thursday and Friday, 71 to 75 degrees, but that fog kind of plays with our emotions because at one time it starts to clear and then here it comes back. So <laughs> it's, it's just kind of playing with us over the next, next few days. Inland areas will see a lot more sunshine in the afternoon, near 90. 86 Wednesday, 83 on Thursday. I don't think uh, the marine layer is going to be playing with your emotions as much as for some of you <laughs> along the coast. And then the mountains, clear. We'll see mostly sunny skies, 70 tomorrow, and we'll keep it in the upper 60s for the next few days. Yeah, how dare that fog toy with us? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was incredible driving. It was like one side is clear, the right. other side to see the clouds is moving. It was actually so pretty good. beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is.